Hello guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel of The Concept Guy and you might be wondering that how I got 100% in NPTEL course and if you just ask anyone that how you get good marks then that definitely what they will say study more and you will get but yes there are some thing more than just studying for the course that might actually help you get good marks and even what uh, you can expect is 100% score so it's i'm not not just going to tell you that you need to study hard and you need to just uh, stick to your course and try and practice more problems focus more and then you will get 100% but i'm going to talk about some really important things that you might actually need to get a good score and even a hundred percent score so some points i'm going to mention and also i'm going to tell you about how i got hundred percent so i hope this will actually help you so uh, if uh, i'm going to mention a lot of things so i hope you just don't miss the things just because you think that uh, this is something that won't help it will it will help or if some point doesn't help then i hope the other points might actually help you a lot more because most students i have seen that they don't know these uh, little little things that actually uh, improve your grade and that actually helped me to get 100 percent so very well so let's start and i hope you uh, get to know all the points and just don't uh, think that this is too much of a general discussion this is quite specific all the points that i'm going to mention are not just that you need to study hard you need to focus here more you need to uh, give your time more not this stuff okay uh, so so let's just say that uh, the first important thing is that most of you don't know and that's why i'm telling this that there is a discussion uh, forum also where you can ask your queries and now most of you might be actually knowing this but the main point here is that how to use that how to use that to get more of the course and to get more insights of how to just uh, do the problems in fact in the assignments so one best thing is that in the forum there are a lot of people uh, in various courses so the main thing is that in that forum you can actually post your query in such a way that uh, your uh, other partners there over, over there can actually give you a quite good hint some people actually give the uh, video in which the answer might be there and with also the timeline so these things really help the most important thing is that here you get to access their email ids you can personally also uh, message them and ask them i know uh, people won't just give you the answer but definitely they would just give you uh, some hints that will actually help you a lot and now also in the discussion forum you can actually quite mail different people now not everyone there will actually even respond but i know that some people will really respond and i hope you can get out a lot of information a lot of help from them okay because not everyone is from undergraduate uh, some are even from the postgraduate and the doctorate so even they can help you a lot because uh, they know more about the course so there you can actually find a lot of things a lot of help from other guys also and ask your doubt in such a way that you kind of get a lot more than just some help just some query solving so that is the thing how you can access the discussion forum uh, you just have to click on the tab on the uh, left and there you will find uh, the ask a question tab and that will lead you to go over the main discussion forum so that's how you can actually do this thing because a lot of students don't 
uh, consider this now the next thing is that assignments now assignments have a lot of weightage assignments are uh, have 25 percent of the weightage and i don't think that you can actually neglect this and ignore this because uh, even if it might feel that uh, let's leave the assignment and let's just give the exam what's it what's in that but assignments are like 25 percent you are have been given like out of 25 around 20 percent is just given to you uh, directly why i'm telling this because in most of the courses i've done like four to five courses uh, four courses actually and in all of them the assignments were something directly from the video just the numbers were changed or something else where was added but the same thing was there uh, in the video itself the, how to just proceed and how to do so assignments are free marks actually guys so yeah and if if you are uh, neglecting them i think this it's high time that you see that you score get to score a lot more in the assignment now do you need to do all the assignments and get your marks well uh, not uh, actually around three fourth uh, uh, assignments are taken into your evaluation now the initial assignments are quite easy so start uh, scoring in the beginning itself just just try to give your time and just try to uh, score in the beginning itself because later on in the courses and even in uh, in the middle half the courses uh, the assignments uh, the course and the assignment gets a little bit difficult so it's quite difficult to gain marks over there but you see after like four if four assignments are there only three are going to be evaluated so this is something you need to take care that try to just gain marks in the beginning itself when the course is easy this will help you to get a lot more marks and get your all all over the 25 percent 25 percent in hand next i will tell you about the exam now in the exam some questions come directly from the assignments yes you heard it right some questions are directly from the exams ex uh, from the videos and the main thing here is that if you have done this you just can you just hardly need some time to just solve the question because you already know what to do okay so that's why i'm telling you that the assignments first of all like four assignments then three will be evaluated give your best three uh, don't stress uh, a lot but just try to give your best three then if it is uh, like eight then i think six then if it is a 12 week uh, course then i think eight eight weeks assignments will be considered try to give your best shot in at the earliest early stage as possible and the same questions might come in your course too now for the old uh, nptl courses there are transcripts and the pdf files everything are already there along with the videos on in the youtube and nptl so if you are doing uh, an old course then i will say just uh, see the pdf file because pdf file is around uh, let's say the video is around one hour the pdf file would be like around 12 pages what is simple what is something that you can access fast of course 12 pages because you just scan over it but in the video you have to like watch it and if you skip you again skip back that you might be doing here in the video but i just say that the pdf file will give a lot more information in just limited time so the transcripts might not be available for the new courses but the old courses have their transcripts in the nptl site not in the swim also uh, one thing that we all miss is that the recommended books we might think that okay we are was what watching the videos of the course and i think this is enough but the recommended books are something quite important why i'm telling you this is that some courses are just directly from the books so even if something you don't understand from the book uh, you can just refer to that chapter in the book let's say you don't understand even from the book 
what you can do is see the sample problems everything will every book will have some sample problems or sal sample examples uh, and solve the uh, solve questions look at them and try to understand what is going to uh, is happening now in the video itself your uh, professor might not just take all the sample problems or examples but in the book you will get a lot more now i am not telling you to just read the book but if you something if something is there you don't understand from the videos from the sir or a professor uh, you just consult the book and even most of the uh, books are available in pdf in various different sites for free and uh, for free uh, here you can just check out library genesis or other you can easily get those books but the point here is that don't just uh, just watch the video only and get the things out sometimes the books help more uh, faster than the video because video is sometimes long enough now the main thing is that this is all stuff uh, that you can do but the main thing is that uh, we all watch the videos might we might not even get the time to watch the video then what to do or how to just manage the course and get more marks the main thing here is screenshots yes well which when you are watching a video let's say uh, you are watching it and you just trying to remember most of the things can you remember most of the things now most of the people just make up notes and that would help them but i would just recommend it is a fast technique that you can take the screenshots of various important pages uh, if you get the PDF then you don't have to do this but if you take screenshots and make a, a folder of the screenshots then you can actually go through the course in very very limited time this will help you to give your assignments faster get ready for the exam faster and you will also get to just quick go through of the course in a very lim less time I think uh, people just don't do these things they just watch the video might skip the video and then they just tell that the video is taking too much time if it's taking too much time just run it on 1.5x perhaps if your professor is not so much like a cheetah kind of stuff then you can just watch it uh, in 1.5 1.25 and uh, take screenshots man come on uh, and just make folders of different screenshots of let's say uh, of different videos this will help you simply uh, not much to think about that and the next thing is that one main idea is that uh, people think that they will take a four week course because that is where they can score more because it's of less time they just have to study for some time and they will get good marks the course will burden will be less but I tell you that that's not true because uh, in a four week course you have four assignments and in that assignment every weekly assignments in that assignments you need to get three assignments where you are scoring a lot more trust me three out of four assignments is something difficult to score upon whereas if you uh, but yes it is faster enough uh, than the other courses obviously because it's four weeks but trust me the scoring is quite uh, depends a lot on you that how you manage those three assignments uh, some people manage but scoring is easier in eight week course and in 12 week course however in 12, 12 week course i've seen most of the people just losing out of the information so in a eight week course there are maximum chances that you can actually get good marks because six out of eight weeks are considered that's kind of the optimum so just give trials to different uh, time of the courses uh, the tenure of the courses not just stick to four week course i've given uh, all uh, these tenures like i've given four week course the eight week course exam and the 12 week course and the highest I've ga 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 got in 8 week course that is once I got uh, 84 marks and in another course I got 100% this one so I hope these things actually help you try to uh, go through the discussion forum mail the people get help from them 
uh, in a very indirect way actually uh, the assignments you don't need to just uh, give every assignment to the best don't ignore assignments because they contain 25 marks which is quite enough go through the books also uh, that is uh, written in the down of the course and these books sometimes the professor takes the whole reference from the book the whole uh, ppt is there whole video is from the book that will just help you because you if you know where the professor takes help then you know where from where he will give the questions as well i hope this uh, video actually helped you uh, the main aim of the video was not to tell you that you need to study hard to get good marks which is true but yes some things that you need to uh, strategize strategize and make a plan of so that you don't actually end up getting low marks because of the reason that i've already mentioned so thank you guys i hope you like this video please like share and subscribe subscribe pakka karna thank you